Hey everyone, welcome back. So I'm a little late on jumping on here. It's been well over 24 hours since I started working on the granny squares that my great grandmother had made and then making more of my own. I ended up making at least maybe a dozen and not utilizing three of them. And then I started sewing the bag together. So I wanted to get that relatively close to done as much as possible before I made this next video. So this is what it looks like right now. It's kind of big and doesn't quite lay flat because I did it lopsided for a couple of reasons. Um, one of those reasons being, I figured this bag could be used for the kids' toys, like their stuffies and that. And um, I did my seams on the inside. Don't know if you can't really tell. So they kind of lay flat and it's just a single crochet stitch that I did to sew the squares together put the wrong sides facing in. So then on the outside, it looks something like that. And then as you can tell, I use the leftover pink yarn that I have to start making these handles. And I'm only doing eight wide. And then I'm gonna connect it over on this opposite side here so that they go crossways for the kids. Um, so yeah, it's taken a little more than 24 hours. For some reason, I was thinking 12 at first, but I was incorrect. It's 24. Um, and that's with breaks in between, obviously, using the restroom, making food for everybody, letting the dog out, running errands as needed, handling things outside of the house as needed. And meantime, like having a movie night with the kids and that before they went to bed so that they'd fall asleep before they went upstairs. But yeah, so this bag is gonna take a little, little more than a day to do just for all those different extra things I have going on. But all in all, it's a little tricky to keep track. How I did it was I did the base of the bag first and then I started working up on my sides, the smaller sides before I did the larger sides of the bag and then tried working my way around. And as I was connecting them, I was trying to do it. So I was doing more than one piece at a time as I gradually added them. So I wasn't wasting as much yarn to sew them together with the crochet hook. And then once I am done, I'm gonna be threading in or stitching in some more of that excess yarn that I have sticking out. Cause I do have some tails here and there that are pretty long that I wasn't able to fully um, crochet over as I was stitching the pieces together. Like this one, I ended up having to tear out a square because I misplaced it so that the bag wasn't gonna lay correctly. So I have this long tail that I have to cut and then just save the yarn for scrap later on. Because what I do with the scrap, once I get enough, I'll likely be making a scarf for the kids or eventually making a blanket, which I have done an afghan. I knitted it, so that was a lot of back and forth and dropping stitches accidentally if I set it down for too long or if just the kids got to it. But that's typically what I like to do for the scrap yarn is just save it until I have enough to make something decent. But I'll give you guys more of an update on tomorrow. So 